Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Uh, yeah, you Absolutely could go for the hard bolish. counter option. Okay. All right, all right, Zayus. We get it. He wants to get one more POG uh, in the regular season. He's going to start the back again. All right. Hook is still going to come through, and so Barrel's just going to get caught, and now Gumushi comes down, and maybe the bottom lane is not going to be what DRX can play through after all. Well, at least Five, but won't have his flash. Now we're going to check out this top lane, of course. Should theoretically take a little while, but uh, maybe it doesn't, as that is the Blade Surge, and Kingen is uh, just dead. The one upside of this is the Gnaw has some pressure, right? As yeah, Carrier is going to sidestep the Light Binding. Let's see where the Pyosha can lock down the kill. Flashes, wind becomes lightning, and now Gumiushi has nowhere to run. Actually felt like it was a creative flash, but still he's able to trade one back. Death gets a kill. As now, Ona wanting to see whether he can get something with terrifying version. As Carrier takes half of his health bar, but isn't too worried. There's the Predator. Faker looking to come down, wants to kill Barrel. They know who doesn't have the flash. Oh, here they And they are going to be able to take it. Okay, Realm Warp to bring Zekka in there as Pyoshik. Wind becomes Lightning. They're looking to try and grab the kill on a carrier, but immediately it is traded back. Wind becomes Lightning there as well. Going to connect from Ona. As now Depp dashing forward. Does manage to help grab the kill onto one, but the Event Horizon is in. And now Ona's getting reset. Finds himself a beautiful little combo onto Zekka here as well. As now the flash forward, the last auto. Cool guys don't look at explosions. And in the meantime, there's a battle on the top side as well. King knows that he's not going to win. Yeah, Zaya's going to get himself a turret plate as Pyoshek moves up towards his top side. Knows that that brush isn't water, but there's a carrier hiding in this one. The Vanguard's Edge comes out, and now Pyoshek is just going to be food. The W is going to have all that damage reduction, but Pyoshek should be able to wander his way out of this one. Carrier still. And now Deft is going to get paid a visit by his former teammate. And he just chains all of the CC. Event Horizon goes down, and Faker's like, thank you very much for that, kind sir, for putting that kill on a silver platter for me. Well, yeah, How long he just holds Deft there, and there is absolutely no nothing that he could do. As T1 will grab themselves the first Drake of the game. They don't often do that, but it's topside. But I mean, Kingen's having to deal with this pretty insane Aurelia, who's now going to have to try and get out of this one. Doesn't have Flash available. And Zekka turned up. Wallop is going to go slightly wide. Azaeus moves out of the way of the house. Room Prison comes in. He's going to get himself at least one stun, but he's not going to be able to go 1v2 this time around. Not quite strong enough. As T1 push out the bottom lane, and they will go for a reset. Probably not too worried. Oh, they're on the ward. Yeah, they're on the ward. Will this be a catch is the question. Beryl comes down, losing Singularity comes in, and Gumiushi has been singled out. Pyoshik just audaciously charges on top of him. Will be able to get himself a knock-up. Wind becomes lightning as Deft wants to grab the kill, and he will do so with the Gale Force. So that's another one. Now DRX up to... Binding. Uh, or Rise, or, or Pyoshi diving on top of someone, like they might be able to do on this Drake, that's when they can fight. Yeah, well, DRX are going to set up here. They're looking for the engage on the carrier, and they will grab that kill, but they sacrifice their jungler for it. Drake is going to be up in five seconds. Time is now king, and underneath this turret, as mini Nah does have his Nah bar building, but doesn't quite have enough of it, as Shirley will immediately be plonked down to try and open up this map for T1. DRX looking a little bit worse for wear as far as health bars. They at least still have a turret, and the Event Horizon does not connect. And so they Kimushi coming through with a bit of a piercing arrow, but it's going to be met with a Realm Warp as immediately... Goshik's going to get in there. Carrier defending his bottom laner with his life as now Faker is trying to get in there. Gets a stun, but he's going to be stunned in return. All objectives. King and... Depth charge comes on in. He is going to try and hop his way out, but that's only going to set up the hook from Carrier. Final spark is going to be final only for the Nar right now as Pyoshik gets back underneath this turret. Gumushi in position for a change of Nar now available. DRX, I mean... Might be as, just as good a time as any to go for a fight, but no, the hook is going to connect there as King and Wallop's nothing and is just going to be taken down by a W from Zayas. And T1 now get to work on this Drake at Soul Point. A little bit unfortunate there for DRX. That was looking like one of their best opportunities. T1 gives you no room for mistakes as what looks initially like... Know, and the 18 and 0, remember, they are going to start off the Baron. That is certainly one step closer to it. And That's Carrier a bounty will on this. rotate around, exactly right. Pyoshik, if he can be the hero, then there might be an opportunity. Flashes in, but 
He's not going to be able to land the smite. It was relatively close, but not close enough. He's going to go down for it as well, as there's an R under the wall. Decent work there from Kingen, but I think he's still going to go down, as Death is going to get pulled back with the massive anchor of Carrier. And Beryl just watched the rest of his team die. Get a trade. It's not a great trade, not a trade you're going to be particularly excited about. Um, and overall, this is uh, clearly the point where T1, who had T1 at exactly the right time, just continuing to look even better. I got that's nuts. You know, yeah, there we go. That, that's okay, a, that's King, a bounty. And, King and grabs himself a bounty in the top lane. Uh huh. There's a 45 seconds still uh, soul. Uh, and it's, I, it's only a 6,000 gold lead. Yeah. 27 minutes. It's not like. Instead. Or a set of stairs. I think that's what uh, that Naskin throws. Anyway, T1 now just setting up for a Hextech soul. It's going to feel absolutely fantastic especially for Zeus and Guma, who will be able to apply it very effectively. Owner as well. As Carrier is just going to pay a visit to his former teammate, and Deft is going to run yeah. away. Carrier is looking for Deft. He's going to get himself round the corner. The Ignite goes down as Deft flashes the hook nicely, as Owner is going to get the follow, and this just isn't fair. Kingen's going to turn up. Let's see whether Deft can kite this one out. Hook is going to miss there, but it's going to be... Uh, yeah, the Aurelia turns up. Kingen's well and truly dead. And T1, they tidy up the stragglers and now look to break open the base. Meanwhile, uh, Faker's at 300 stacks and has 630 AP. Yeah, let's uh, see what that means as far as damage. Yeah, look. Cool. Dark Matter comes down. Kyoshik is going to be lucky to avoid that as the Realm Warp comes in. Vanguard's Edge was aggressively placed, but I liked it. There from Zeus. Not going to connect, though. It's now T1 on the Siege, and they've got a Varus. Very good at sieging. And the bottom lane inhibitor turret is going to be the first one to go down. Faker 5 0 and 6 on this Viger. Basically unanswerable right now. And Zek is going to walk up to him. He gets put in the cage. And look at how safe he Unless they really want to play more League of Legends today. As Fiochik is uh, looking for Carrier here. Knocks him up. And uh, Carrier is very tanky. As Ace in the hole comes in, Owen is going to turn up. He's now battling the top laner. As Carrier goes golden, he will be taken down. Death secures that kill. As Faker now puts them in the cage. And you can see over the wall is Gumiyushi. Decent stun there from Beryl to stop his advance. And now Zeka, he's going to get punished for it. Yes, they thought that they were getting a pick, but I think that T1 has just turned it around. Ona happy to dive forward because he's got a stopwatch, and then there's the flash. A very easy tidy up for Zeus, and T1 are looking to complete the ace and win this game. Koshik is running the wrong direction to try and keep his team alive. Faker, yeah, wants him to stand in the Dark Matter and things like this. Didn't have the ulti, but he will be able to find it. With the Baleful Strike, now Nexus Turrets will go down. T T1, an absolutely historical moment. 18-0 and zero for the first time in the LCK, and they tie 2015 Summer SKT and Darm1 2020 Summer. Two teams that then went on to win Worlds at plus 29 points in the season. Unprecedented from this T1 roster. A roster.